Hello everyone, my name is Daria and I live uh, in a small French town and uh, this town is called Chambly. It is uh, in the north of France, around uh, 40 kilometers from Paris. So it's been around one year since I came to Chambly. And uh, for this year Chambly became my home and I really learned a lot about it and I appreciate so many things about it. So in this video I would like to tell you about that. So the first thing I would like to mention about Chambly is of course uh, the wildlife and um, as a person who had been living in big cities I was really surprised how close wildlife can be and to be able to observe all this variety, all these birds and animals. Of course there is a lot of greenery and uh, there are some parks so you can see, you can go to a park and uh, you can just enjoy the nature there. And also, as I said, the Chambly has a, a river, actually Chambly has two rivers, Esch and the Quano. These are very small rivers, so you cannot swim there. When I just came to Chambly, I was very curious about uh, Esch, as I was uh, telling in my previous videos. Esch um, flows through the city, but uh, you cannot walk along this river, because uh, there will be private uh, areas. Let's say there will be a plot of land uh, with a house, uh, which belongs to someone and uh, this river will flow just in the middle of uh, their land so people from outside cannot go there but uh, if you go to a public bridge and then from there you can see that owners of these properties they have also private bridges in the middle of their property so that they can uh, go from one side of the river to the other I'm always trying to imagine how people live in these houses it will also attract a lot of wildlife, right? so uh, thus you will always see all these animals on your property, on your land and then uh, you can always observe them, right? so, so that's why I, I really like uh, seeing this river and um, that's why I also feel like there is some mystery from one side, of, as I said, because I cannot just go and see how these people live but from the other side it's also because of its history because I saw these old photos so I even uh, got uh, a book I got my book I'm so happy, you know I, I really wanted this book because it has a lot of old photos if you see old photos you can see all these changes and uh, you can see people how they were dressing at the time you can see these houses what changed uh, how the houses were reconstructed. Also, there was this very interesting thing. I never knew that before. People in old times were using so-called uh, lavoirs, uh, so wash houses, uh, to wash their clothes. So basically, there were uh, these women who came and uh, they were uh, rinsing the clothes after uh, laundry in uh, the river. So for that, there were constructed special places uh, with benches and uh, with uh, easier access to water. So maybe some stairs that will be there and um, they can just come and uh, rinse the clothes. Um, so when you go uh, around Chambly and sometimes uh, you can see uh, these lavoirs. Of course, nowadays no one is using them, but uh, it is just interesting to see them, right? It's like some uh, reminder of history. Even though they are not uh, reconstructed, it's not like a museum, and they are just there and uh, everyone can see them. Like some of them are private and some of them are just uh, closed, uh, probably by the city's government. But um, when you see them, you can uh, think about history and uh, you can just also imagine how people lived at that time. As I have already started talking about the history, I also need to mention that Chambly kept uh, a medieval festival. This festival is called uh, La Fête de Boisourdie, uh, and here Boisourdie it approximately means uh, burnt tree. So uh, as a whole, it means a festival of burnt tree. Uh, the legend says that uh, a king came to Chambly uh, one day, and people wanted to welcome him, and uh, they went to the forest. They took a tree. They put the tree in the main square in Chambly. Then they started fire um, around this tree so that the tree was burning to welcome the king. And then uh, they liked it and they wanted to keep these traditions. People kept uh, this festival till now. Of course, because of the pandemic, uh, the festival was not uh, conducted for uh, uh, two years, but uh, this year it was uh, again there and I want to see it. So 
the festival in general it will be around a week and uh, there will be a schedule for what kind of events uh, take place so except uh, the main program of the festival there are also like some modern elements that were added but of course if you want to see the main part this is a, a parade and then the burning of this tree. Every year there is a specific topic of the parade. People who participate in the parade, they wear costumes and uh, the parade will go around the town and then they will come to the square. Uh, then a fireman will start the fire to burn the tree. It is a very um, authentic, something that uh, I think uh, is really great to experience. People of Chambly like to keep their history and um, actually many things I learned from uh, the local Facebook group which is called uh, Chambly Histoire et Patrimoine which can be translated as uh, History and uh, Heritage of Chambly and uh, there are many people from previous generations and uh, they remember fondly their youth there will be often someone who will post some old photo in this group and then old people will come and start discussing so they will start uh, sharing their memories so I lived here in this place, I went to school here and we had this neighbor and then uh, there was this shop and I went always there to the shop to buy some food or something. Uh, so when you see that and uh, you can also learn a lot about history, so if you are interested in that, so uh, definitely it is, uh, it is really great. In addition to all that, there is uh, another part of the history that I would definitely love to talk about. Uh, so Chambly has, I think, seven uh, water mills, so actually uh, they are not functioning obviously nowadays and some of them were destroyed, but uh, you can see uh, basically the um, traces of them. When I was exploring the town and uh, I wanted to see the river Elge and uh, I was going to all of the bridges inside the town and uh, sometimes when you come to a bridge so you can see uh, an old building which previously was a water mill. Based on the look of the building, you can understand that uh, there was a water mill. Near one of the bridges, actually, it is uh, now um, an area where you can see all the shopping malls and uh, there is also a road for cars. Uh, so there is a bridge, and near this bridge, uh, there is a huge wheel, uh, so it's uh, above a human height. Uh, so what people did, I think, they put it um, near the river just as a reminder of this history. Uh, so this is very old wheel and you can take photos with it, you can come to it and you can just uh, see all these elements. So if also if you are interested in the engineering, this is uh, also a great place to go to. You can see that things really changed, but at the time these are all elements that remind you of something which was here a long time ago. Chambly also has uh, the second river, which is called Juano. There is a park in front of the town hall near this park, uh, so you can see one of the spaces where the rivers converge. Previously it was flowing on the ground as a regular river, but then uh, uh, because of the constructions it was uh, put uh, underground. So uh, you can see only a part of it. There is a church and uh, in front of it uh, you can see Grano and then it goes underground. And um, another part of it is also located on a private property as Elsh. But in some places you can see Kuanon uh, flowing. So I mentioned the church. Chambly has a, a church which is called uh, Notre Dame de Chambly. It's not Notre Dame de Paris, it's Notre Dame de Chambly. But uh, also when I come close to it and I always think about uh, the book uh, Notre Dame de Paris and uh, maybe some people saw uh, the musical. It's old and uh, again it's uh, a part of the history. And uh, it was uh, constructed uh, near the rivers, so near a place where uh, this uh, rivers Ash and Quanon converge. The soil was not very stable, so in the beginning uh, a tower of the church got a little inclined uh, so eventually people had to uh, strengthen the soil, the, basically the floor of the church 
so now it's uh, it's all fine um, but um, if you see the church you can see this uh, that the tower is a little inclined so it's uh, still visible also the architecture is a bit unusual the church is asymmetric so you can see that one side uh, is different than the other side so one side has uh, this tower and uh, one side has a larger window and the other side has a smaller window. Some churches they have a symmetry uh, left to right and uh, if you put the symmetry axis uh, in the middle where the main entrance is, uh, so here it's not the case. I think it's also a detail of Chambly that uh, is really particular and uh, it has to be mentioned here. And the last interesting historic detail that I wanted to share with you is that uh, in Chambly you can see all direction boards which uh, are the only indication that a uh, long time back there was a big road and then uh, when uh, people started using cars so of course everything was reconstructed and um, nowadays the only indication to see this uh, location of this road uh, are only these direction boards uh, so these direction boards they are placed uh, on the walls of uh, houses uh, and uh, they are really old and you see this uh, the reminders of uh, history. So as you can see, I really love Chambly. So for me, it is a place with a rich history and uh, where you can be close to nature. And uh, I really appreciate it. And uh, if you are looking for something like that, then that's definitely a place for you. And uh, I would like to thank you for being here with me on this trip uh, around uh, Chambly. And uh, I hope to see you soon in the next video. Bye.